So today we're going to talk about what you get in a shooting kit bag when you're going to clay shooting, whether you're going to a competition or whether you're going just for a bit of fun down your local shooting school or gun club. Now, first thing, most important thing is when you go shooting, um, you need to be dressed smart, casual is generally my rule. Um, there's no need to put a tie on, but if, you, if you're trying to impress sponsors, if you're trying to impress your girlfriend, whatever you are, you want to be nice and smart. So I've got a uh, check shirt on. Um, I've got an Alan Payne gilet on. I've got chinos and I've got wellies on. It's not stupidly expensive clothing, but it's a good all round fit for the majority of clay shooting grounds. Then I open my car. First most important thing, if you've got a gun in your car and you suddenly stop for petrol or stop to get a drink or something like that, you want to have the guns hidden in your car. So when you close the car up, nobody can see what's in that car because it is your responsibility to keep your gun safe. Generally in the car, if you are gonna stop, the best thing to do if you're gonna stop and go in somewhere, you've got your gun, you take your gun out. You take your fore end off of it. And then you put the gun back into the slip. And then you take that away and you can go into the services, you can have your lunch, do whatever. And that gun, you've taken reasonable precautions for that gun because you've got the main bit that makes it go. So that is, the, that is the right way to be if you want to stop with a gun in your car. So that's your gun. Now I've got my cap, which generally if it's weather like this, you will tend to keep it. There's certain grounds that make you wear caps. There's some grounds that is strongly recommendable. I would recommend wearing a cap. Um, the basic reason why if you're walking around the ground and there's a bit of clay falls on you, you've protected your head from the bits of clay. If you're gonna shoot and you stand in the, in, the, in the stand to shoot, if you don't like wearing it, I don't particularly like wearing a cap with a peak on, I'll take it off, shoot with 10 targets, and then put it back on again when I move to the next stand. You've got your kit bag. This one is a jack pike bag. That is about the good all round. You can have browning bags, you can have Beretta bags, you can have Casolini bags, you can spend Anything, this one is about 30 pounds, but you can go right the way up to two or 300 pounds, depending what your budget is. And now I've got in this bag, I've got my waterproof, which on a day like today, you'll need it. That is just a good bog standard. It's actually made for golfers, but it's a good bog standard waterproof. I've got the trousers as well. Um, and it's very light, I can screw it up and it fits into my bag. I've got my towel that I can wipe my glasses, wipe my gun off with, because if you're shooting, your gun will get all sorts of wet. I've got my skeet vest. This one is a, a sealant skeet vest, which is about the good, you've got sealant or jack pike, which is kind of probably the cheaper end there, ranging up to from 45 to sort of 55 pounds, 60 pounds, something like that. But you've also got your musto one, your browning one, your Bretta's one, which you can go up to 150, 200 pounds, completely up to you what you want to do and how much you want to spend. You also, obviously nutrition is a quite a big thing when it comes into clay shooting. Um, so you want to take yourself a bottle of water. Uh, that's just to keep yourself hydrated throughout the course. Generally, if you're gonna shoot a 100 bird course, you need something. By the time you get halfway through, it's tiring, it's hard work. You're concentrating that much, so you just need a bottle of water. I've actually got two bottles of water in here, depending how thirsty you get. And then the other thing to do, banana, or I've got a little, little bag here. I've got a couple of bananas, a couple of oranges, uh, so if you want anything to eat, you don't want anything too heavy. If you bring a great big pack lunch and you've got a massive about 10 sandwiches in there, all you're gonna do once you've eaten that, 
is you're going to be absolutely bloated. So you're not going to want to walk around, you're not going to want to shoot. So I've got a couple of bananas. I've had my breakfast this morning, just cereals or toast or something like that. You don't want to eat a great big fat boy's breakfast. You want to eat something nice and light just to keep you going throughout it. But then you need to have lots of little snacks throughout the day just to keep yourself a little bit going. If you find yourself tired, I'd put a couple of Kit Kats or Mars bars or Snickers in your bag as well. And that just gives you a bit of a burst of energy. So if you're finding you've shot half a dozen stands and you're licking a bit more, you're getting a bit tired, you're getting a bit knackered. If you get something like that, uh, it will just give you a little quick burst of energy to, to keep you going till the end. And then at the end, then you can have something a little bit more, just a little bit more food wise, a little bit more bigger to eat for your lunch. Bananas are probably the best thing because they give you a nice little burst of energy uh, just to keep you going. I will generally have two when you go round. Or oranges or apples. I haven't got apples here. You also have got your glasses in there. I generally have these, you've got pillars, you've got evolution glasses, you've got jackpipe glasses, you can have anything ranging from 40 quid, ranging to 400 pounds, depending what you want to spend. But these have got all the different color lenses in them. They've got everything. They are something you've got to wear. Your eyes are the most important thing. You need to protect that. And then I've got the cartridges generally on a round of 100 sporting, you need about 125. I will always try and take 150 out just in case you have a breakdown or just in case you need to shoot a few more. If you've got enough cartridges, you ain't gonna run out. If you only take 100 of you and a couple of spares, you could run out. So I would take 125, 150, just you've always got enough cartridges then. The other thing you'll need to take with you is once you've got your gun, you'll need to take your chokes with you. Each gun comes with a set of chokes. Some people like to change the chokes, some people don't, depending on the person. Some people like just the ordinary chokes that come with it. Some people like Teague chokes. Some people like lots of different manufacturer ch chokes for it. You've also got your hearing protection. A lot of people wear the plugs, but I personally before the earphones. So you've got your hearing protection as well with you. So that is really your whole kit bag. Uh, that you need. That's your, there's all sorts of other bits and pieces that people may want to add into it, but generally that is your kit bag for clay you, can, you will need. <laughs>